The government announced on Wednesday a cash handout will soon be available for workers who have been hit by the economic fallout of COVID-19. Those eligible could get up to 20,000 NT a month. But the KMT says the measure does not go far enough. The party is calling for a massive cash handout for all households except the very richest. President Tsai Ing-wen says the KMT is confusing the concept of a bailout with that of a stimulus, which would be more effective after the epidemic is over. KMT Chairman Johnny Chung and his party's Taipei City Councilors held a press conference to tout a cash handout policy. We must call on the Executive Yuan and on President Tsai's administration to feel the suffering of the ordinary people. The KMT wants to see another budget of 100 billion NT allocated on top of the recent Phase 2 budget of 150 billion NT to give 6,000 to 20,000 NT in cash to every household, excluding those in the 30 percent income bracket or above. The Executive Yuan's current bailout is frankly nothing like other countries' methods of giving out cash. The conditions attached are too exacting. The application process is difficult. You have to produce all kinds of supporting documents. Everyone wants to be Father Christmas, but we can't endorse this kind of one-size-fits-all so-called equality. People want to see this as an excuse for everyone to get a little something, but that will actually harm our state coffers. DPP lawmakers, as well as the president herself, have little interest in the KMT's proposal. If there's a universal handout, she says, help won't reach those who most need it. If we just splash out without any distinctions about who gets the money, those who really need support won't get it. Cash payments have always been in each of our bailout packages. They've always been a part of our strategic toolbox. Recently, I realized that many people, including the KMT, are confusing the strategic methods of the economic bailout with those of an economic stimulus package. Premier Su Zhenchang posted on Facebook to discuss the differing timelines of bailout and stimulus packages. When the epidemic is passed, he said, will be the time for more handouts like vouchers to encourage consumption.